right now. The second last match of uh, WrestleMania 24 and the last match of the game's ruthless aggression era. Is a triple threat. Randy Orton versus Triple H versus John Cena. And it looks like we're going to be playing as Randy Orton. Oh, okay. We Has he appeared in, in this at all yet? No. So, at the 2008 Royal Rumble, Randy Orton successfully defends the WWE Championship. And at the same event, John Cena shocks the world when he returns from his pectoral tear muscle pectoral muscle tear injury early to win the Royal Rumble and eliminate Triple H. Uh, John Cena then used his WrestleMania title shot when he challenges Randy Orton for the WWE Championship at No Way Out. Orton intentionally disqualifies himself to save the title. Uh, earlier in the evening, Triple H won the Elimination Chamber match and became the number one contender for the WWE Championship. And the next night on Raw, Cena wins a match over Orton and was added back to the championship match for WrestleMania 24. Triple H gives them both a pedigree, setting up a triple threat match at the uh, for the ages at the Showcase of the Immortals. I don't know, is it like WWE? Is it like a WWE thing to have like five names for one thing? <laughs> they are fond of that, yeah. Like Triple H, HBK, John Cena... The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, they all have like five different names that they're also known yeah, as. Yeah, but Undertaker's the Dead Man, the Phenom. Brett, we were talking Bret Hart is the, you know, the excellence of execution. Best there is, best there was, best there ever yeah, will that, be. Yeah, that is a thing, and they have... Everything has to have as many monikers as possible, so you can... I know, like, like they're afraid that of saying one thing too many times <laughs> so they can say different things All right. you know, Orton is the defending champion I believe yes Orton is the defending champion and who we will be playing as so spoiler alert he wins the other half of the um, the other part of the main event for this uh, Wrestlemania was uh, actually Undertaker versus uh, Edge Oh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I wonder how that goes. I don't know. Well, we can only wonder. <laughs> is he gonna do the? Is he doing the water spray thing at this point? Uh, yeah. But he hasn't yet ascended to the whole whole Viking throne. No. Co he's, Conan, I mean, he's Conan the, of Aquilonia. He's got, the, he's got the logo for it on his crotch. I assume you mean like his and, trunks uh, and not his actual physical... Okay. Yeah. No, his throne and cape and all that, no. Okay. Alright. This is a pretty good entrance. Yeah. I've, I've always liked it. Has he pretty much always been healed, aside from, like, Degeneration X? Um... I want to say so. He has brief stints as a face, but he's always been a much more memorable hero. heel. Uh, in 2011, when he took over for Mr. McMahon, which was the last time we saw Mr. McMahon, when, when uh, was this? As, as COO and okay. general manager of Raw, Okay. He was the good guy boss. Okay. And he was the good guy boss for like a year. Uh, and there was SummerSlam. I, I, I want to say it was SummerSlam 20, 2013. Yeah, it was SummerSlam 2013 where he turned. So it was a little more than a year. Because he came at the end of... Uh, 2011. Or did he come at the end of 2012? God, I can't remember. I just... I, I can't look at Triple H without thinking of the fact that he, at one point, was Terra Rising. <laughs> that was his... That was his, that was his name. I know. I can't look at uh, Triple H without uh, remembering... Uh, what, what was his Frenchman gimmick? Was it Paul Jean Levesque? Paul Levesque. Jean-Paul Jean Jean Levesque. Jean-Paul Levesque. 
Yeah. It's, uh... Well, I mean, Levesque, it is, Levesque is his real last name. So. Yeah. I think his real name is Paul Levesque. It is, yes. But when he was, a, when he was the Frenchman, he was Jean-Paul Levesque. Well, I mean, a lot, a lot of, a lot of wrestlers have, who became big later on, have some less, <laughs> have some rather less successful gimmicks in their background. Yes. Like, I believe it was Stone Cold Steve Austin who was Chili McFreeze at one point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then he was the like the Taskmaster. I think we've, I think it was the, we've talked about I think this it was, one. I think it was the Ringmaster. Ringmaster, yeah. Strong technical performer and nothing else. Oh God! Oh, they want to oh. remind us about the spinner belt. It's the era of the spinner belt. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Stone Cold Steve Austin's like official home website is called Broken Skull Ranch. Really? It is. That's pretty awesome. I'm I'm just checking it out now. It's like this ad with him. He's 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 uh. Endorsing some rifle scope. Huh. I guess he's, I don't know, maybe he's a hunter or something. Hunting the most dangerous game of all. Man. Okay. Oof. Now, what, what are your historical objectives this time? Uh, I have to grab the WWE title. Uh -huh. I reversed this. This is bullshit. God. Oh, no, I, I did. Whoops. That was like a double DDT. So I have to go grab the WWE title and hit Triple H with it. And so see over here are the, the uh, chairs, and I'll grab the title here. Is this like a no DQ match or something? Oh, wait, no, there's a ref. It's a triple threat. Okay. God damn it. I think you dropped it. Yeah. Well, now I picked it up. Oh, right in the back of the coconut there. Oh, when he's down, that's... I've just seen it fall there and you have to grab it. I just imagine it like being like a weapon you pick up like in Final Fight, you know? <laughs> the lead pipe and the sword, then there's the championship belt. <laughs> I need to clothesline Cena before he tries to hit me with it. There we go. Okay, so the other move I need to do is perform the Orton signature stomp on uh, Triple H and John Cena. Okay. God damn. Not going well for poor old Randy Orton. So Randy Orton was actually a Marine. Really? Yes. He served with the U.S. Uh, Marines mm -hmm. um, and was slated to be in the sequel to the Marine uh -huh. until they found out about his service career. What, did he have a not such a great record? Or? Yeah, he was dishonorably discharged for continually going AWOL. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm just looking up for legal reasons... Um, I should specify he did not, I should, I need to correct Nick, he received a bad conduct discharge. Oh. Which is not as bad well, as Not a dishonorable discharge? No, it, it's... I thought they were the same. No, there, there's, a, there, there's a whole, there's a whole hierarchy of, of, of discharges. That, that, okay, that, well it's good that you corrected that, me. That sounds incredibly disgusting, but, no, there's a whole, there's a whole array of military discharges. Dishonorable's the worst. Bad conduct isn't as bad. Generally. Right. Um, was it bad conduct discharge after AWOL on two separate occasions and disobeying an order from his commanding officer. Court tried and convicted under special court mode. Oh wow! It says he apparently, according to Wikipedia, he spent eight. He spent thirty-eight days in, in a military prison. Yeah. 
Double hangman's DDT. Which is a common thing. Yeah. Bad conduct discharges, it often does involve, well, bad conduct that's bad enough that you, like, you know, like, get, a, get like, some sort of time in a stockade or whatever before they throw you out for good. I did not know that about him. Yep. It's very telling. Uh, I kind of get this feeling that Randy Orton is not real life the best guy. <laughs> Alright. I need to get up and close line Cena. Oh no! It's someone else with a pedigree! Yeah, generally for for di for a full dishonorable discharge, you have to do something real, like much much worse than like than like a than you know like uh, a wall than a going a wall or something. Like like if you know that you know like I said he got caught you know like he had a you know for you Killed know him. he was you know disobeying orders or something if he if he'd refused to obey the order and then you know shot his co in the face that would be like dishonorable discharge material. I see. Yeah. I, I honest to God thought they were the same thing. No, no, no. I know very little about no. military discharge. Again, it sounds like such a bad <laughs> thing. But um, no, they're they're not they're not uh quite the same. Um, in a, actually, in a lot of uh, at least I don't know about other countries, a lot of American jurisdictions, a dishonorable discharge is legally considered comparable to a. Uh, felony conviction. A felony, yeah. So it's like, like if you're in a state where felons can't vote or, you know, can't own a gun or whatever, then dishonorable discharge has the same effect. Yeah, I could see uh, not wanting to give somebody who... Not wanting to entrust Randy Orton with the franchise? Or are you going to say with guns? Oh, with guns. <laughs> I was going to say anybody with a dishonorable discharge. Like, if, it, if it's like a whole other level, then yeah, you know, I could see... Uh, kind of being reluctant to give a military criminal yeah, like a uh, oh, access to a weapon. Come on, Triple H. Yeah, triple threat matches are. Hectic. Yeah, back back to wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> You know what dishonorable discharge kind of sounds like? Like dishonored some, discharge. Dishonorable discharge. It it, it, it sounds kind of like like some sort of like ECW pay per view event, doesn't it? It does. But they always had that way of sounding like that, though. You know, one night stand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. They always sounded sort of filthy. Nope. Stay down. I need. To Stomp on you. There we go. Alright, I'm actually set up in a good way because... Oh shit! That is not who I meant to pun kick. Thanks, game. Thanks for locking me in this endless run cycle. <laughs> Wait. Triple H nope. seems to have lost interest in the match. Triple H just doesn't care. <laughs> I can't. I can't stop. And like, this is not a thing I'm trying I'm pretty, to do. And I'm pretty sure Cena's just dead. <laughs> He's you're, dead. You're there right. we go. Randy Orton really is a bad seed. He has murdered Cena in the ring. All right, I'm gonna let John Cena perform an AA on Triple H. Because that's gonna let me. Come on. 
I should be able to punt kick him and win. I need Triple H to stay down. What? No! God damn it! Uh, now I have to get two more finishers. Or one more, really. Oh wait, that's what I did last time. Yeah, the, the first time I did this match, I just stood in the corner and did this the whole time. Because taunting automatically gives you some heat bar. That sign that person's holding up in the background looks like, like, like a stick-on name tag. Yeah. Or is it supposed to? It's, it is. Okay. There's my signature move, which I'll perform on... Nope. The... the what? Is it, what is it? What, the away without leave? Or absent what? without leave? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> That's Randy Orton's signature move. <laughs> Absent without leave. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, there's so many moves with, you know, acronyms, you know, RKO, DDT, You F know what? Fuck it. STFU. I nearly murdered John Cena. Doesn't matter. Well, we, we know that Randy Orton doesn't really care for the rules of others, so... <laughs> Why should he care about the rules of space and time? Victory! 